Hi, and welcome to the DriveStrike Windows Remote Wipe demonstration. In this video, we are going to cover how to wipe a Windows device with DriveStrike and confirm the status of the Windows device after a remote wipe is ordered. For this demonstration, it's important to note that we already installed DriveStrike on this machine and we are logged into the DriveStrike web console. Okay, so here is the DriveStrike dashboard, which displays all the devices you have installed and registered using DriveStrike. In the DriveStrike dashboard, you will see several columns with information in them. Device, which displays the name of the device that you used when you originally set it up. And on phones, you will see the phone number of the device displayed. You can refresh this information from the device page using the refresh button within the device info section on the device page. Type, which displays the device type, such as Android, iPhone, iPad, Windows, Linux, MacBook, and so on. Owner, which by default displays the email address used to register the device during installation. You can change this by clicking on the icon that's located next to it that says Edit Owner, and then just change the owner value. All right, connected, pretty obvious. It displays the last time the device connected to the DriveStrike service. Last action, which displays the last action that was taken by DriveStrike. Newly installed devices displayed ready as the last action. There's an additional column available that is not displayed on my screen, which is group. The group column is only displayed when you have defined groups within your account and want to group devices by groups such as department names, geography, or something else that, you've, that you use internally to sort through groups of devices uh, within, within your company. Okay, so now that we've covered that, let's move on and wipe this device. Navigate to the device page by clicking on the device you want to take action on. Here we're going to go to the Windows 7 VM machine. Okay, on the device page you're going to see some additional information such as the OS version. Uh, right here we're using a Windows 7 professional version. Uh, it is, you know, again displayed some of the other data that you saw on the dashboard. You can also see device info, which gives you much more detailed information about the device, such as the domain, how many drives it has, how big it is, um, the manufacturer name, and, and so on and so forth. You can refresh this information, as I discussed earlier, by just clicking this refresh button. And if any of that data has changed, it will query the machine and report that data here. Uh, you can see a history here for all the actions that you've taken against the machine. And if you've located the machine, you can display a map here that will show you all of the location points uh, that have been recorded for that machine. Now, the available actions are very clear. Locate, lock, wipe. And in here, we're going to wipe this machine. So when you want to initiate the command, simply click on the action that you want to take. And I'm going to go ahead and proceed with the wipe. Once you click on wipe, it will require you to re-authenticate and then request the action. All right. OK. You can cancel the wipe in the event that the device was offline when you ordered the wipe and have since recovered the device. If the device is online, you have only a minute or two at the most before the wipe is complete. Once the wipe is complete, the device no, is no longer bootable and you'll need to reinstall an operating system on the device. See how fast it was? Now, if you want to check the status of the device, simply go back to the dashboard and select the device you ordered the wipe on. The actual wipe device is going to be forced to reboot and it's going to be in a fatal mode where it will not boot up the system and the data will not be able to be found. So in order to check the status within the dashboard, let's go ahead and move over to another machine where I can display that. Okay, so we're back at the dashboard within DriveStrike. We're going to go to the machine here 
and it's going to report that the last, last action that was taken was that it was wiped. If you go into the dashboard itself, it's going to show that the wipe action um, was ordered, it was requested at this time, and this is the latest status. It did it within a minute that it actually wiped the device. If it had taken longer, it would report a longer timeline. Keep in mind that the device page for the device will give you a detailed history of the actions that you've ordered and their status confirming those actions. Well, that covers the Windows Remote Wipe demonstration. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, or simply want help with data and device security, please contact the DriveStrike team at 877-375-2468. Have a great day.